Megudine Luca is one of the most famous vocaloids in the scene, most well known for singing Luca Luca Night Fever and Just Be Friends. This time, it's all about Megudine Luca. Come on! Megurine Luca is Krypton Future Media's fourth and final vocaloid to be developed. Voiced by Yu Asakawa. It was released for both Vocaloid 2 and 4, the latter being compatible with Pia Pro Studio, Krypton's own voice synthesizer. He is the first bilingual vocaloid. able to sing in both English and Japanese when released, though they are separate voice banks. Something to note was that her English singing was better than most other Krypton English voice banks, because Asakawa herself could speak English. Her iconic V2 mascot was made by Kate, later drawn for V4 by Ixima. Her original Vocaloid 2 Japanese voice bank was released on January 30, 2009. It was originally intended to be a moody, soft voice, contrasting with Hatsune Miku's and the Kagamine's high-pitched vocals. Along with their Japanese voice bank is their English one. English Straight is their original V2 English voice bank, which had the same tone as her Japanese voice, just English. An append, like Hatsune Miku's append, for Megurene ne Luka was initially being developed after Luka's release, but was dropped in order to develop Luka's voice bank for Vocaloid 3. However, this was pushed again and development shifted to Vocaloid 4. Luca's V4X voice banks were released on March 19, 2015. First, her straight English got a V4 update, and a new English voice bank, under the name of Soft English, was released, which had a softer tone. Her Japanese voice bank was split in two, one soft, one hard, for a soft vocal tone and a hard vocal tone. Here's the difference. All of Luca's V4Xs also have Krypton's new EVEC function, standing for Enhanced Voice Expression Control, which was designed to broaden expression and emotions of the vocaloid in question. It's also why there's an X at the end of V4. Unfortunately, those voice banks are the only ones she has. Hopefully, we will see more voice banks when she gets updated to Pia Pro NT. The name Megudine Luca in Japanese is derived from a series of different Japanese characters. Her surname, Megudine, consists of two characters, meguri, which means to circulate or to go around, and ne, which just means sound, just like hatsu ne. Her first name, luka, is derived from lu, which has the same pronunciation as ru in Japanese, which means flow. Meanwhile, ka means song or scent. Overall, her name, meguri ne luka, roughly means songs to all around the world as scent spreads. Megurine Luca has one character item, which is unofficially a tuna, and a derivative which is the famous Tako Luca. For those who don't know, a character item is an item that accompanies a character, and a derivative is a derivative of an original character, like how Hachine Miku is a derivative of Hatsune Miku. When a new vocaloid is announced, an item war occurs, where people argue over what thing should be its character item. In the case of Megurine Luca, an especially fierce war broke out because of her popularity. In turn, Sanpachi drew Octopus Luca to joke about the ridiculousness of the item war. Tako Luca was then officially recognized as a derivative of Luca, and appears most notably in Sam Free's Luca Luca Night Fever in Project Eva. The tuna comes from Maguro, which is Japanese for tuna, which has a sort of resemblance to Luca's last name, Meguri. Me. Meguri ne Luca was initially going to be Krypton's first vocaloid of the character vocal series, with the name Hatsune Miku. For unknown reasons, Krypton decided to put off developing Luka to develop what would be today Hatsune Miku. After the release of Hatsune Miku and the Kagamines, Luka would be introduced to the Vocaloid scene. When she first launched, she was ranked as the third most popular Krypton product for Vocaloid, beaten only by Hatsune Miku V2 and her append. In March of 2015, when Luka V4X was released, she became the best-selling Vocaloid for two months, up until Miku V3 topped her. Megurine Luka is one of Vocaloid's most recognizable characters, and for a good reason. She was the first ever Vocaloid to beat Hatsune Miku on the weekly Vocaloid ranking in 2009, which was the way people judged a song's popularity. And this was huge.
For context, from 2007 to 2009, Hatsune Miku was at the top of the charts all the time. Even after Kagemine Ren and Len were released, Hatsune Miku didn't budge off the top 30, mainly due to Ryo's fantastic song ability. However, this was a problem. When there's only one person or one thing at the top all the time, it makes it difficult to innovate, to change. It was always World is Mine or Melt, and it was very much samey, also making it difficult for new producers to take the crown. What was needed at the time was a disturbance. And that disturbance came. Soon after Megunine Luka's release, RIP Equals release was published by Minato, and it gained the highest score in February on the weekly rankings, beating Rio. This song, along with Double Ariat by Agua Niki P and a couple others, reigned for a few weeks. Kicking Ryo and Hatsune Miku off the top 30, up until the charts went back to the usual songs in a few weeks. Though Luca's reign was short, it disrupted the scene to throw off established producers. It created a short advent of much needed change and innovation to the Volkwood scene. Opinion ahead, but I believe it allowed producers like Sam Free, Dixie Flatline, Agua Niki P, and eventually Hachi and Wawaka to blow up because there was no gatekeeping anymore. Of course, combined with other factors like Rio's temporary departure from Folkloid at the end of 2008. Nevertheless, Luca played an important role in the early days of the scene. Megudine Luca is a pretty famous Vocaloid, and there are several reasons why she became this famous. First, Luca is a Krypton product. Because Krypton developed and released Hatsune Miku and the Kagamines, the most well-known Vocaloids, it is no surprise that their final Vocaloid would receive the same treatment. Though the company had a famous brand front and center, the company itself wasn't widely known, only the Vocaloids. Instead, the company used its vast sums of wealth to promote and sell Luka like Miku, and it really worked. If you search Megurine Luka up on your country's most used store, you'll probably find lots of things with her. Along with this, she had a mascot that appealed to the general Vocaloid audience, since a mascot is something that a Vocaloid can be associated with and result in people getting attached to them personally. Second, Luka was released at a very crucial time period. As explained before, it was only Hatsune Miku at the top, and the scene was in perfect condition for a massive disruption. When she released, a lot of producers boarded the Luka train, and made her almost a new trend at the time. This would end up solidifying her place in Vocaloid, even if she dropped a few ranks down later. Some people suggest her popularity is due to her English voice bank, but her English voice bank, despite being developed, was not marketed outside of Japan. It didn't even have English software support. Instead, it was mainly targeted towards Japanese producers for some reason. However, after a while in 2011, English producers like Circus P helped propel Megurine Luka within the English vocal audience, with songs like Circus Monster and Lie. There are a lot of famous vocal songs featuring Megurine Luka, and here are some of the most well-known Megurine Luka producers. Luka Luka Night Fever is arguably the most well-known Megurine Luka song, made by Sam Free as part of his Night series. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2015. Dixie Flatline, the creator of Just Be Friends. Aguaniki P, creator of Double Laria. Easy Pop, creator of Happy Synthesizer. Jimmy Thumb P, creator of Reboot and No Logic. Yu 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 Pet, creator of Leia and Palette. Otetsu, regarded as the legendary Luka Master, creator of Black Gold. Circus P, a well known English producer, creator of Circus Monster and Live. Okame P, creator of Proof of Tears. Easy FG, creator of Magician's Operation. Af Techno, creator of Die. Minato, creator of Magnet. Yuchapi, creator of Blackjack. Out of the list, these producers are mostly active within the scene. There are a large number of other Megurine and Luka producers, which will be mentioned in the description. For now, that's all about Megurine and Luka. Yeah.